So now we've moved on from finding equations of parallel lines given uh, the equation of a line that's parallel to it and a point that it passes through to now we're looking at the equations of perpendicular lines given the equation of a line and a point that the perpendicular line passes through. So as usual, the first step is identify slope. So the slope of the given line Well, we're given y equals 3x plus 1. So m equals 3. Our slope is 3. Now the slope of our perpendicular line is then the opposite reciprocal. So slope perpendicular equals negative 1 over the slope. Let me go ahead and make sure this looks like perpendicular instead of a fraction bar up here in the name. So negative 1 over our given slope, which equals negative 1 over 3. And then last but not least, we identify our given point as x1, y1 equals 4, 2. So again, the difference between this and finding parallel lines, equations for parallel lines, is finding that slope. Uh, when they're parallel, it's the same slope. When they're perpendicular, it's the opposite or negative reciprocal. Uh, you can, it's kind of a silly rhyme, but if you, you forget uh, how to find the slope of a perpendicular line, just remember the little jingle to find the slope of a perpendicular line, flip the slope and change the sign. So we take whatever we're given, uh, flip it. So if it's 3 over 1, it becomes 1 third, and we change the sign to negative 1 third. And then the process is the same. We use our point slope form. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And now we just a term that some students love, some students hate. Now we just plug and chug. We substitute and simplify. So y minus our y1 is 2 equals with our slope we determined to be negative 1 third times x minus our x1 is 4. So y minus 2 equals, let's distribute the negative one-third, so negative one-third x, negative one-third times negative four, that becomes a positive four-thirds. And now we add two to both sides. Only well, I'm going to change it to thirds, so two times three is six-thirds. So y equals negative one-third x plus ten-thirds. Now just to check that we didn't make any mistakes, we know the slope is the opposite reciprocal, the negative reciprocal. So if we have three, we can check by, by making sure their product is negative one. So let's do that just to, to verify. So m times m perpendicular equals 3 times negative 1 third which does equal negative 1. So that verifies we found the slope correctly. And now we can substitute in our given point for 2. So does 2 equal negative 1 third times our given x is 4 plus ten-thirds. Negative one-third times four is negative four-thirds plus ten-thirds. So this is six-thirds and that verifies that yes it satisfies the equation because two does equal two. So the equation of a line perpendicular to y equals 3x plus 1 
that contains the point 4, 2 in slope-intercept form is y equals negative one-third x plus ten-thirds.